Kemer Times, 12th of July 2023, under the government's sites is a rail link between Cambodia and China. According to Sun Chanthal, Minister of Public Works and Transport, the Royal Government of Cambodia wants to upgrade the nation's current rail network to high-speed rail and connect it to the Pan-Asian Railway Network to make it easier for travelers to travel by train from the Kingdom to Laos, China, Thailand, and Vietnam. During a live interview on the Ministry of Public Works and Transports MPWT, social media channel, the minister stated that the project would be undertaken with investment help from potential partners. Chanthal claims that the government has changed the country's railway infrastructure over the past five years and worked on plans to convert the southern and northern train networks into high-speed connections to Thailand. A new high-speed railway with a top speed of 160 km per hour is being planned to be built by the government and will travel to Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. He said improvements had been made to the Southern Railway System, which runs 266 km from Phnom Penh and Sinekville. The speed was increased to 80 km per hour, and the axle load was increased to 20 tons. Similarly, the 386 km of northern railway infrastructure between Phnom Penh, Sisyphan, and Poipit cities has been strengthened to support an additional 15 tons of axle load. The upgrades will result in lower transportation costs inside the kingdom. The minister stated that the government has looked into further developing the southern and northern railway infrastructures to convert them into high-speed railways with a top speed of 160 km per hour. According to the minister, this upcoming high-speed train will be linked to Thailand's main line, a part of the Pan-Asia train network that extends through Laos and to China. The government is also looking for private sector investment to build a new railway path that passes through Poi Pit, Siem Reap, Kampong Chong, and Phnom Penh before reaching the Mok Bay International border in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. This new railway path can significantly increase trade between the two countries and bring significant economic benefits. The plan to build the nation's infrastructure has attracted the interest of many investors, MPWT spokesperson Pal Chandra said in response to the minister's interview with Khmer Times. He says most of the investment is from China, Korea, and Japan. Chandra continued, Cambodia has demonstrated that it is the country in Southeast Asia that has recovered from the pandemic quickly. The confidence of potential investors has increased as a result. The minister added that the government is considering building a new, contemporary metro system in Phnom Penh. The subway building would be a historic undertaking, and it wouldn't impact city traffic but would open up the potential of operating enterprises underground. In addition, the government intends to build short route trains in Phnom Penh and Siem Reap that will convey travelers from the airport to the cities.